If you are creating and selling digital products or services, one of the most important things to do is to make it easy for people to buy from you. The more hoops people have to jump through to actually hit that pay now button, the more likely they are to just not go through with it. In the past, I've shown you on this channel how to design and publish a beautiful and effective sales page in Canva to showcase your product or your services, and I will link to that video up here. But because Canva doesn't have a built-in checkout or an e-commerce function, you still need a way for people to actually pay you. So today I'm going to walk you through what I believe is probably the best option available to add a simple, powerful and really effective checkout to Canva or anywhere else. Let me introduce you to Lemon Squeezy. Now, firstly, to be fair to them, Lemon Squeezy isn't just a checkout or even another payment processor. It's more of an all-in-one platform that's been designed specifically for creators and online businesses to sell all kinds of digital products, courses, subscriptions, even software. And the best part is it is super easy to use, whether you're just starting out or you've used some of the tools in the past. With Lemon Squeezy, you can create super slick product listings, a really simple and easy to navigate shop front, and fully customizable checkout pages, all of which can be customized to ensure brand consistency too. And you can quickly and easily integrate your checkout into Canva sales pages, an existing website, or even just on your social links. And it makes it really quick and easy for people to buy from you. And they've built a really solid reputation for being helpful and supportive. And for me, that's really important. When I get stuck and I don't know what I'm doing wrong, I really want to be able to find help easily, either from the great articles or the great support team. And in fact, Lemon Squeezy is such a great tool that the global payment processor Stripe have recently bought them. So it's now supported by a huge infrastructure, and I think it's just going to help them to continue growing and adding even more features. So why Lemon Squeezy over other checkout options or even payment processes? Well, for me, there are a few key things. One of the biggest advantages of Lemon Squeezy is its competitive pricing. Now, at the time of recording this, they charge no monthly subscription, and they just charge a fee of 5% plus 50 cents for every transaction, which is actually really a cost-effective solution, especially when you compare it to platforms like Gumroad that charges a 10% fee. And of course, if you're not bringing in money, you don't have another overhead or monthly cost to pay. Lemon Squeezy also acts as your merchant of record. This alone is why I believe that their fee is totally worth it. And basically what this means is that from a legal standpoint, they essentially sell your products for you. And then they just pay you the profit. So this is how they explain it on their website. A merchant of record is a term used to describe the legal entity selling goods or services to an end customer. When a customer makes a purchase, they are buying from the merchant of record. The merchant of record is responsible for handling all payments, and takes responsibility for everything relating to the purchase, including collecting sales tax, processing refunds and chargebacks, and ensuring PCI compliance. Part of Lemon Squeezy's mission is to make selling digital goods online easy peasy. As such, we take on all of the liability mentioned above, so the sellers don't have to worry about it. Instead, they can focus their talent and energy on building great products to sell. And I promise you, and I speak from personal experience here, once you start selling to people in different countries with different tax rules, this can be a real blessing. Reconciling transactions and tax on your own for different currencies and tax plans can get real complicated real fast. Lemon Squeezy also supports a wide range of payment options, so including Apple Pay, PayPal, Direct Bank Payment, and it means that your offer is immediately accessible to people in over 130 countries. And basically what that comes down to is that it instantly makes it simple for you to access a vast global audience and to help them to buy your product or service no matter where they are. Now, obviously for me, the whole thing has to look good and it has to help with brand consistency. And Lemon Squeezy makes it so easy to create a really great looking and working shop front and product checkout. Plus you can customize it with your own colors and logos to reflect your brand style. And actually this is a really good time to get a little hands-on in an appropriate and consensual way, of course. So let's set up a new Lemon Squeezy store 
and I'll talk you through some of the processes and the key features as we go through. From the Lemon Squeezy homepage, you can easily get started just by clicking on the button that says Get Started for Free on the main banner or in the top right hand corner. When you click Get Started, it will automatically ask you a few key questions to start your store off. First of all, you'll need to set up an account by adding your name, your email address and a password, and then you can click Create Account. Now, once you've done this, it will immediately start asking you some basic questions. And this is part of a kind of onboarding flow that they have that will help you set up all the basic settings to make sure that your store works well. This is that onboarding process. And you can see on the left hand side where these main tabs are, there is a setup tab at the bottom. So you can always come back to this to carry on or pick up where you left off. And you'll see it takes you through a whole load of steps just to make it simple for you to get your store set up and start selling. But all of these settings are available in the main settings section. So I'm just gonna talk you through the main tabs on the left hand side. So your home tab is where you will land whenever you log into Lemon Squeezy once you've set up an account. And all that does is show you the basic analytics for what you've sold in terms of revenue, your number of orders, subscriptions, refunds, etc. It's really simple, but it is everything you need to manage your store and to know what's going on. Next, we have a store section, which is where you add your products. It shows what orders you have or subscriptions. You also have all your customer details. You can add discount codes and also licenses. Now licenses are particularly helpful if you're selling software or an app or something like that, where you need everyone to have an individual license for their purchase of that product. But if you're not selling software or anything like that, you don't have to worry about licenses. Next, we have a section called email. Now, Lemon Squeezy allows you to use its platform for email marketing. Personally, I still prefer to use ConvertKit, who are my email provider of choice. Um, I think they're more robust, they have more features, and so I prefer to stick with them. But if you want something really simple to get started with email marketing and building a list, Lemon Squeezy is a great option. Now under here you can see there is a section for broadcasts, which are basically just emails you send out to everyone on your list and then subscribers, which is where you can see information on each of the people who have subscribed to your list should you use email marketing. Next, we have an affiliate section. Now, Lemon Squeezy, it's one of its great functions is that it allows you to set up affiliates for your products. And basically all this means is that you can have people sign up and as they sell your product for you, they get a percentage of that sale price. You can set the percentage, you can decide how that works, and they have a unique link that they can share with people so it's easy to track through Lemon Squeezy. Now, some of these affiliate programs charge you a fortune just to have the program itself integrated into your store. So having this built in is a real plus, and it's a great way of incentivizing people to promote your product and to get the word out about it and make more sales just by giving away a small percentage to that affiliate. So here you have an overview you can look at, the number of clicks which you can see, what the referrals are and who they came from, and then what's been paid out and some creatives or some options to share with people. The next section is the settings section. And this is where you can pretty much find all of those settings that are essentially incorporated into this setup process. So I'm gonna take you through these and through each tab so you can see exactly what it requires to set this up. So you have to verify your identity and when you click on that, it will take you through a process to do that. You can then add your own company logo, you can add your store name, and then your store URL. Now by default, you'll have a store URL with .lemonsqueezy.com at the end, and you can always just leave it like that. But there is a section later on to add a custom domain should you wish. Now, if you're gonna integrate this into a Canvas sales page or from your own website, you don't really need to have a custom domain for the storefront, but obviously if you choose to, that's easy to set up. Next, we have a contact email, which is where customers can contact you, your currency that you can choose as your main one, and then the payment settings. And payment settings just allow you to activate or deactivate these options for Apple Pay, Google Pay, PayPal, etc. Plus, you can also check this little box, which allows it to either have your price, a flat price, and the tax will come out of whatever that price is, or you can enable it so that you have a standard price and taxes added depending on where the person is or who it is that's actually buying from you. Next is that domain section where you can just click on this little plus and go through the process to add your own custom domain to your store. 
Integrations are just a few simple places that you can integrate Lemon Squeezy. The first is MailChimp if you use that for your email or ConvertKit, which I just mentioned to you. And then of course Zapier, which allows you to integrate with hundreds of other applications. You can connect that here as well. Webhooks are a more advanced way of integrating with other platforms and that's not really something I use at all. Then there are your email settings if you use email marketing within Lemon Squeezy and you can set up all of the details that will be applicable to how you send emails and what the addresses they come from etc. Then there's more on that affiliate section and if you activate this or enable it you'll then just fill in a few details that will make it easy for people to get their link from you to become an affiliate. Recovery is a really interesting one and it's something that is really useful. This is just something that helps you eliminate all that hassle of chasing payments that haven't been made or perhaps following up with people who were going to buy but haven't and it's all automated with Lemon Squeezy. So first of all you can enable abandoned cart emails which just means that if somebody has added a product to their cart but not checked out or paid for it it will send them three reminder emails over a period that just lets them know it's still in their cart and tries to encourage them to buy. Renewal emails are for customers who have subscriptions and it will let them know that that's coming up which is just a really nice polite way of letting people know the payments coming up so that there are no surprises for them. And then you have auto recovery which I think is really really useful. And it basically just means as it says here if you're on a subscription and a customer's payment fails Lemon Squeezy retries their card four times over two weeks before marking it as unpaid. And this is just helpful because sometimes there are problems with a bank connection or maybe someone's card has been delayed or maybe they've just overextended for a couple of days and they're waiting for their paycheck. So it just gives you a way of that being done automatically without you having to worry about it so that by the time it gets to a point where you do need to chase up you know that it's retried several times and so there is definitely a problem with that payment. Next we have a dunning section and this just means that once that's all been tried and they've tried to take the payment a few times you then have a series of emails that gets sent to the people to remind them that this hasn't worked and to let them know that you're going to be cancelling their subscription etc. And you can then just go through these and customize them so that that makes it easy for Lemon Squeezy to follow up on your behalf quick and easy. Next we have plans which is essentially what you pay for for Lemon Squeezy. As I said there is no flat monthly rate. You just have a 5% plus 50 cents per transaction fee. Um, and then underneath this if you want to sign up for email marketing there could be an additional fee depending on how big your email list is. So for example here you can see if you have 500 subscribers it is free plus you can send 5,000 emails per month. But if you take it up to say 3,000 email subscribers you would be paying $24 a month. So you could absolutely use this but it is best for a small list. If you were going to have a bigger list like I say I would suggest you use something like ConvertKit and I will link that in the description below the video so you can have a look at their free plan as well. Next we have billing which is just where you can track what you have paid to Lemon Squeezy and then payouts which is obviously the important part and this is where you can set up how you want to be paid. So once Lemon Squeezy has sold your products and sorted the tax etc you can choose whether you want to be paid out to a bank account or to PayPal and you can add invoice information if you need uh, any kind of references for tax, business, etc. Next there's a team section where you can just add people to your team. So if you have a VA or an assistant or you have an accountant that you want to allow them access to Lemon Squeezy you can do that in the team section. Then we have stores and this is where your stores will show. Now all this means is that you can actually have multiple storefronts within Lemon Squeezy. So you could have one that is for your digital products and one that is for courses if you wanted to separate those. Of course you can sell those different types of products all within one store but it does give you the option to do that which can be really useful if you have two different brands that you're managing for example. So just a really helpful thing and you can do that again at no extra cost. And then lastly there's the API which basically just gives developers access to integrating some of Lemon Squeezy's tools should they wish to. Now let's go back to the important part which is the store. So if we have a look at the tab at the top left here and we have a look at what the store involves. First of all we have our product section. Now if we click on that it will immediately allow us to add a new product and I'm going to just walk you through that very briefly. When you click on new product 
you have to fill in some general details. First of all, you have to give it a name, and I'm going to use one of my sales page templates just as an example for this. Next, you have a description, and they recommend 120 to 160 for search engines, but because this appears on the checkout, you can have as long as you want, and you can even add in bullet lists, etc. Then we can choose our pricing options. So you can choose just to have a single fee, which I would use, for example, for my templates, or you can have a subscription, which would be for maybe a course or a membership or something like that. You can actually have a lead magnet set up here. So it's a free product that people can download, which just helps to build your list. And you can even set a pay what you want price. Now, pay what you want pricing can be really helpful in terms of building a following, building a list, etc. So you could offer something and allow people to decide what they want to pay for that product. This is great for products when you're just starting out. And what it does is it encourages people to get used to basically clicking the buy button and getting something from you, even if they pay virtually nothing for it. It's a great way of getting people used to that and also showing them the value that you add. So it can be a really useful tool. The other option you have with pricing is to set a package pricing. And all that means is that you can choose multiple products to be part of a package. Underneath that, you have the price, which you can see by the little asterisks is something that you have to set. So we're just gonna set this as 55 pounds. And then we're gonna choose the tax category for these. Now there are only three main categories here, a digital goods or service, and that excludes eBooks, but includes anything else that's digital like templates, etc. Then there is an eBook section, and then there is a software as a service section or SaaS. So for me, pretty much everything I do would be under digital goods or services. Next, we are allowed to add some media. And this is where the fun part starts, obviously, because you can just drag in any images that you have to showcase your product. It also gives you a guide here to show you what size to use. And it's 1600 by 1200 is their recommended size or proportion. And that just makes sure that it showcases well on the checkout page. And of course, if you don't have images in that size, this is where Canva comes in incredibly handy. You can just go to Canva, you can create a custom size image, choose 1600 by 1200 and create a new design. And then you can just upload and drag in the images you do have for your product and then export them as individual images for you to use on your sales page. I'm gonna click and drag those and just bring them into the media section. And once those are uploaded, I know that they're going to appear on my checkout page. Next for this product is the file section. And this is where you can upload a file that your customer will download once they have purchased. Now, again, this is really helpful if you're selling a workbook or something like that, or an ebook. And it just means that as soon as people pay, they have a page that pops up that allows them to click a button and download the file that is essentially your product. Now, for me, for example, when I have a Canva template, I don't have a file that they have to download, but I have a link. And it also allows us to add that. So instead of files in the link section, I can just add in a number of links with a title which can be customized and then the link itself. And that allows people to access those links directly on the page that pops up once they've paid. There's also an option to add variants. So for example, if you have one product that sells as a small version and a large version, you could set up those variants so that on the sales page, they actually have an option to choose which variant they want. So really simple if you have that kind of product. Next, we have another settings section, and that just again allows us to generate license keys if you have software, and you can choose whether to display this product on your storefront. And this is just handy so that if you have products that are only for a specific audience and you don't want them generally accessible, you can choose not to have them shown on your lemon squeezy storefront, which we'll have a look at in a second. Final settings are for the confirmation modal, which is what pops up after people purchase. And it just means you can customize the title, the message, and even add some text and a button so that you can encourage them to maybe visit your website or follow you on social, etc. And the same for your email receipt. You have an option to add a thank you note, and then you can also add a button and a link should you wish to do that. Now, once you've decided on all those options, you just click publish product, and your product is now essentially live in your store. On the right-hand side of the product, there are the three little dots for the more menu. And when you click on those, we can click preview to see what this would look like as a single product checkout. So you can see it is this beautiful two column layout. It's really simple and easy for people to add their details and then just click pay. And on the left hand side, you have your description you entered 
and the images that we uploaded so people can scroll through and see what your product looks like. It's a really nice and simple checkout. And the great thing is that it is really perfectly mobile optimized. So even on a mobile device, it's quick for people to buy. Now, as I mentioned before, Lemon Squeezy is incredibly good for allowing you to also customize it so that it reflects your brand style in a really simple way. So let's have a look at how that works. If we go to the design tab on the left-hand side here, it brings up a whole bunch of tools for us. First of all, there are a few of these design themes, which you can use just as a starting point. So first of all, on the left-hand side here for the appearance, we can upload a logo. And again, it specifies the size that they recommend. And you can even add a favicon so that the little icon that appears in the web browser also reflects your brand. As I mentioned, you can change the theme if you want to, but we're just gonna start with the vanilla theme because we can change everything anyway. First thing I'm gonna do is just change the button color so that it reflects my brand colors a bit better. And then at the bottom here, you can see that you can even add in your Google Analytics data or your meta pixel data if you're using paid adverts. So it's really easy for you to track when people get to your store. Once you've made a couple of those changes, you can just click publish and it's starting to set what the rest of our pages or products will look like. At the top here now, you can go to store to see what the store front looks like. You'll see our product is already showcased here and we then have some options on the left hand side as to what we can do with our store to brand it. First of all, you can add a store header, which appears in this light gray banner at the top. And it even tells us the size that we need for this banner. I'm gonna go back to Canva and I'm going to add in a blank document with that custom sizing for our store header. I'm gonna to go to my uploads and just bring in an image that I have used on my social and on my YouTube. And I'm gonna resize that so that it acts as a banner for my store. Then I just download that go back to Lemon Squeezy and upload that file. And now you can see my store has a really nice branded banner at the top. I have the option to show the store logo, which I can toggle on and off, and you'll see it appears here in the center. And I can even add the store name and description underneath that. I'm gonna deactivate the store name, but I'm gonna add a description. The next option allows us to show or hide the subscription form, which is just this little box here that allows people to automatically subscribe to your email list from your storefront. And so I'm gonna leave that as show so that people can easily subscribe. Then there's an option for thumbnail size, which is just the size of your product thumbnails. And this is kind of useful, especially if you have a lot of products in your store and you wanna showcase more of them on one line, you can change it to small or medium so that instead of just two per line, you have three per line. Plus you can also choose whether to show some of the product details or not. At the bottom here, you also have an option to change the appearance by overriding the theme styles. So we use that basic theme, and although we don't really need to change anything, if I click on it, you'll see all the range of options that it gives us here to override the theme styles. We can literally change the color of the background, the header, the logo, the headings, the primary text, secondary text, links, borders, the focus state, the button, and even the button text. And so it gives you a lot of options to really customize this to fit with your brand. And if I toggle that off, it goes back to the previous version that we had already saved. And there is essentially our storefront ready for you to share with people. Before you leave the page, if you've made any changes, make sure that you click the publish button in the top right so that everything is saved. Next, if we go to checkout, again, we'll have options to customize this should we wish. This is just a product example, so it's not your product, but it shows you the checkout would have the details on the right-hand side. And this is where different variants would appear like this. So you can see exactly how this would work. And you can then also on the left-hand side, override these theme styles should you wish and customize each individual element on the checkout page. We also have the overlay, which is basically only applicable if you're going to integrate this into your website. On a Canvas sales page, for example, the overlay wouldn't work because it requires HTML to be embedded into the page. But if you were using this on your website and you wanted just this overlay to pop up rather than a whole checkout page, this is where you can customize the look of the overlay in exactly the same way as we've done with the checkout page. Lastly, there is the portal, which is basically what your customers can log into once they have set up an account and it allows them to see all of the information of what cards they have saved, what they've paid for, etc. And it makes it a really nice and easy way for people to manage their own accounts and particularly for them to access any invoices, etc. that they may need for their accounting. 
again, just eliminating the need for people to have to contact you to get these kind of things. It's all done through Lemon Squeezy. And lastly, we have our email design, which again is just the appearance of the store emails that go out once somebody has purchased. And you can customize all of those, adding your logo, etc. So all of that is available for you to customize under the design tab. And coming out of there, as I mentioned, if you ever get lost or you need to go through the process to set up and see where you are, just click on the setup tab on the left hand side and it will show you what you've already done and take you through the process to make sure that everything is done to get your site live. Anytime you want to preview what your store looks like, you can go to the bottom left hand side here where your store name, if you click on the three dots, you have an option to go to my store and when you click on that, it will open up a preview of what your store looks like in a web page. Also from that menu that pops up, you can see you can check your orders. There's a shortcut to your account settings, your affiliate hub, and to the help documentation should you need help. So you can hopefully see now what I mean about how simple it is to get a store up and running with Lemon Squeezy. And before I show you how simple it is to share and integrate your product checkout in Canva or anywhere else, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to learn how to up-level your Canva and design skills to build your brand and to grow your business, then if you head to the link on the screen right now or in the description below this video, you can sign up for my design digest called Meaningful Creations. Every week I share new tutorials, Canva tips and design insights and creative inspiration. There's no hard sell, there's no hustle, just my own authentic and honest experience and I'd love to invite you to join us. Plus, my newsletter is always the first place that I announce new resources and new offers. Now, let's get back to our store. So the next step, and probably the most important step, is to share your product so people can start buying. Okay, so we have our store, we have our product, and now it's really simple and easy for us to share this wherever we want. If we go to the store tab on the left-hand side and go to products, we can then very simply share this product. And the way that we do that is by just clicking on the right hand side here, either the share button or on the three dots and choosing share. And it will then give us a couple of options. Now this checkout page with the two sections like this that we've already created and branded, we can share just by making sure that we're on this checkout link. Again, we have some options that we can customize here very simply. And then here is a link, which is the direct link to this product checkout. We can select it and copy it, or we can just click this little button that says copy. And that now gives us a direct link to share to this product checkout. I want to share this in a Canva sales page, and so I'm going to hop back into Canva. Inside Canva, I have made a copy of one of my stone sales page templates, and I've customized that. I click into the website or the sales page that we've created. I'm going to scroll down, and I have a huge button here that says buy now. And very simply, I'm just going to click on the button. I'm going to click on the three dots, scroll down to edit link, and I'm just going to add in the link that I have just copied from Lemon Squeezy. I paste that in, click done, and my button is now linked so that anyone who goes to this page can click on that button and go directly to the checkout. I'm going to publish this website, and I'm just creating a website URL with lemon at the end for Lemon Squeezy. Once that's done, I'm just going to view the live website and now if I scroll down and I have the big buy now button, when I click on that, it will take me to my checkout for my product. And that's as simple as it is to get your product online and at checkout, which is super slick and easy, linked to your Canva sales page. As you can probably tell by now, I genuinely think Lemon Squeezy is pretty much the best tool to help you add a checkout to your Canva sales page and start selling online quickly and with minimal hassle. So whether you're just starting or you're looking to streamline the way you sell digital offers, this platform really has almost everything you need to start making money quickly and easily. If you're ready to check it out, click the link in the description to visit their website and you can start setting up your own store and experimenting with it. And just so you know, I'm not an affiliate or anything. I really am just a huge fan of this product. Trust me, Lemon Squeezy is a great option and your future self will thank you for keeping it simple. That's it, folks. Have a fabulous week.